Hi guys, um, welcome back to another video. Today we're going over a basic, uh, basic uh, anti cheat tutorial, I guess. Um, let's just jump into it, I guess. We're going to go over hook function and get s e n v get s e n v so we can go to the workspace i made this game so i know kind of where the where everything is open the file and you see anti exploit you can open it this is a very basic anti cheat anti exploit i guess and if you edit the humanoid to be faster than 16 you you're going to get kicked speed no allowed like you can see so let's bypass that by using a hook function to because uh, as you could see it was a uh, function like yeah it's a function some games uses functions i guess but not not every game so local env equals get env um, and we need the path of everything so we can say game dot players dot local player this gets to the players and gets to your player dot character goes into the workspace and get and gets the player dot anti exploit now to see if we got it right we can do f it returns a table with right now two things one being the name of the anti-exploit and second the function we can we can check that by doing this For IV in pairs, env do and print IV if we open console and you can see speed, uh, wall, wall speed check function. And as you can see, it's a function. Now we can get that wall, wall speed walk speed check function and it's not a table anymore so we can do env but we don't get it so like you saw before you get kicked when you changes when you change walk speed so we can do we can fix that by hooking the function hook function env because we got the function of the anti exploit now we can say function and we might we might we can can maybe do that i would suggest doing adding new c closure it's kind of good for for detection based stuff so you don't get detected by any anti exploits or something not sure if it works or not. Here we can do one 
hello uh, or try to kick me now Now, hook function, you can see all this, and, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, okay, hook function, and, yeah, it wants, uh, tries to kick me, and it's gonna spam it because of this. Let's try it. Ah, okay. You cannot use new C closure on this script for some reason. Always use it when you can. Um, now we can just remove the new C closure and press execute. You can see it starts spamming it and 2000. And it works. You didn't get kicked. Next episode will be about probably more in-depth tutorial on how hook function and get a CNV works. So if you got any questions feel free to comment down below and hope you are okay under this pandemic and have a nice day see ya